Hi everyone, it's Vanessa Nessa. Today I'm going to show you how I do a wash and go on my multi-textured, multi-curl pattern hair. But first, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you're like me and you have multi-curl pattern hair, you know that a wash and go is the ultimate struggle. I probably have like three or four different curl patterns throughout my hair. They're looser towards the front. And as you go towards the back, the curls get tighter and tighter. So let's get right into it. I washed my hair with Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey Intensive Hydration Shampoo. Then I conditioned my hair with V Dot's Curl Immersion Triple Treat Conditioner. I start out by parting my hair in half to separate the different curl patterns. My curls start to differ from the middle of my head back. I would suggest sectioning your hair wherever your curls really start to differ. After separating my hair in half, I'll then separate the back section in half to work on smaller parts. I'm going to go in with Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie along with As I Am's Curling Jelly. But first I'm going to wet my hair with this misting spray bottle. I really like this misting spray bottle rather than the regular squirt bottle. I'm going to take a generous amount of the curl enhancing smoothie along with the curling jelly, mix it together and apply a generous amount to a small part of my hair. When I first started using Shea Moisture's curl enhancing smoothie, I didn't like it because I felt like it was way too heavy and it was weighing my hair down way too much. But then I realized with my hair having so many different curl patterns, it might be best if I put the heavier product on the curls that are tighter to weigh those down more and put lighter product on the curls that aren't as tight. That way my hair can kind of blend better and it won't be such a drastic difference with the length. You want to make sure you get a good amount of product on each curl cluster to really define each curl, especially with these tighter curls. I use a combination of different methods as I'm putting the products through my hair. I use the rake, shingle, prayer hands. I do everything just to make sure I have the products really smooth all over my hair. The reason why I really like the mist spray bottle is because it really saturates your hair with one spray rather than the other bottle where you have to spray multiple times in one small section. I'm going to continue to let this speed forward until I get to the front part of my hair. Now as I get to the front half of my hair where the curls are looser, I'm going to use a lighter product. I'm using Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner and continuing with As I Am's Curling Jelly. I really like Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner because it's lightweight and it doesn't leave your hair feeling like you have a bunch of product buildup. Because I have a huge difference in curl patterns throughout my hair, when I tried using this leave-in all over, it was the ultimate fail. That's when I realized I needed a heavier product to weigh down my tighter curls for my hair to blend better. Thank you. 
Once I've gotten all the products throughout my hair, I'm gonna brush my edges down, put on a satin headband, and let my hair air dry about 80%. For me, that's typically about an hour or so. Once my hair is mostly dry, I'm going to diffuse the rest. I'm gonna use my Babyless Pro blow dryer and a diffuser attachment. This one is an ion diffuser attachment. I'll link all the products I'm using in the description box below. This is the quick part since my hair is mostly dry. I'll diffuse my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll be good to go. Once I'm done diffusing, I'm going to use Jamaican black castor oil to break the cast in my hair. Although this gel is a lightweight gel, it does leave a slight cast. Once you break the cast, this will give your curls that lightweight, fluffy look and feel. I use about a dime size through each section, not putting too much to weigh down my hair, but just enough to break the cast. I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera and finish getting ready for the day. For the longest time I wasn't comfortable wearing my hair curly. For one, I used to wear my hair straight all the time and when I would wear it curly I wouldn't know what to do with it because of the different curl patterns. It would be one length here, another length there, and it would be really embarrassing and uncomfortable when your hair just not looking right and all over the place. So finding a way to mask the different lengths because of the different curl patterns was the major key, definite confidence booster. And sometimes you'll do a braid out or a twist out, but sometimes you want the look of a wash and go. And if you still wear your hair straight every now and then, you may not want to cut your hair into a curly cut. Then when your hair is straight, it's going to look crazy and all over the place. So it's a lot better than before when I was using one product on all of my hair. Pieces that are tighter, that heavier products will help stretch and elongate the curls to mesh and blend better with the looser curls. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope these tips help you. Make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below. Let me know what tips and tricks you've done to help with your multi-textured, multi-curl pattern hair.